In this video, I'm going to show you five things you didn't know about Canva. What is up guys? My name is Ronnie. I am your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. If this is your first time visiting our channel, I strongly suggest you subscribe because we have new tutorials every week. And while you're at it, also hit the bell button so you receive a notification every time we publish. All right, now that being said, are you ready to learn five things you didn't know about Canva that will make you a better and faster designer? If you are, let's jump into Canva. All right, so this is my Canva homepage right here. And uh, the first thing I want to show you has to do with uh, search. So for this, I'm going to open a random type of document. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one it is. So I'm going to open a presentation document. So I'm here in Canva in my presentation document. Let me populate this with a couple of pages uh, from a random template. Okay, that's good. So the first thing I want to show you is deep search, how you can better use the Canva search box right here to find all sorts of things. All right, so let's imagine that I want to add a sticker on this uh, on this first page of my presentation. So I will just type in sticker, making sure I am on the elements tab, sticker. All right, and then of course, Canva is going to start presenting me some stickers, which is nice, you know, but they are kind of all um, mixed together. Like all the stickers are here, uh, there's no real, Mm, I would I would say way of distinguishing all these stickers. We have a couple of uh, categories, which is cool. But uh, what if I want to search for a specific sticker? Let's say I want a sticker of an arrow. So what you could do is to add a second keyword. So sticker plus arrow. And then you will have stickers or animated uh, visuals about your arrows. And that's uh, that's pretty cool. OK, let me show you how to go even deeper in the search. All right. So you can type in sticker plus arrow plus the color red. And now you will have arrows or stickers representing arrows with the red color. OK, so it's not completely perfect, but it adds a level of, um, I would say, of precision to your search. All right. Uh, something else. Let's say, um, let's say you like this arrow right here, this one right here, okay? So you don't insert it in your document like I just did, but you click on the three little dots. And then once you're here, uh, you are presented with a bit of information about this arrow. First, the keyword. So you have red, you have GIF, arrows, stickers, animated and colorful. But then you also have the name of the contributor you see here, view more by Canva Originals. So Canva Originals is the name of the contributor. This is probably one of the Canva uh, contributors. And so if you click here, you have access to all the different elements that this uh, particular contributor has added to the library. And so you will see a keyword here that says brand and then this kind of like name here that identifies this contributor. So once you have that, you can search for more from this person, but you can also add this level of precision saying, okay, I want um, to, to browse the library of this particular contributor, but I want stars. Okay, and there you go. Now you have all the stars added by this contributor, which is Canva brand original, and then you have gone a little bit deeper in your search. So that's my tip number one, guys, using deep search, understanding how to go deeper when you search on Canva. The second thing I want to show you that you probably didn't know about Canva is that you can space your elements evenly, either vertically or horizontally. That will really help you gain some time and, and work faster when you have to align elements onto a page. So here I have uh, these three groups of elements right here. So they are already grouped. So they are made out of a circle, an icon, and then um, a little text box right here at the bottom. I want to kind of make sure these three elements have the exact same distance. So I can try to, you know, um, judge by just by looking at them if they, there is the same distance between them. 
but there is actually an option in Canva that will help you do that. So uh, the reason why these elements are grouped is because if you want to use this space evenly feature, you have to group your elements. Otherwise, they will just group all the elements together. And I will show you in just a minute, but let me show you first where that feature is and how to use it. So for that, I'm going to select my three groups of elements right here, go to the position button, and then here at the bottom, you see space evenly, either vertically or horizontally. If I click on horizontally, then Canva will space these elements evenly horizontally, like the name indicates. And now I have them all here and I can just center that in the middle of my page to make sure there is an equal distance between all of these elements. Similarly, I could do the same vertically. See, I have this big mess of uh, elements right here. Let me just move that out of the way. I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to reduce their size a little bit, maybe add more. So I'm going to duplicate that. OK, so let's see. I have all of these things right here. I select them all, position, space evenly, vertically. Now you see they all have the same size. Of course, there's a bit too much. So I'm going to get rid of two. And now I still have three. So let's say. Okay, I'm trying to do it. I'm not sure if they are spaced evenly. So you select them all, go to position, space evenly, vertically. And now Canva makes sure that the, there is the same distance between all of these elements, or groups of elements in this instance. And I can also space them evenly. Uh, so once I have them like this, I can just simply use um, the axis right here presented by Canva to make sure they're all aligned. And then I can do it again because I can see there is a little bit more space here. So I'll do it a second time. And now I am sure I can reduce the size. I am sure there is the same distance between all these elements. So you remember I told you, you better group them because if they are not grouped. So if you just have the circle, the icon and the text box, if you select and, and use this feature, so space evenly vertically, this is what's going to happen. The proper way of doing it, you will have to group all the elements that kind of constitute this one element you want to center. So you will group it. You will create the second group and third group. And now let's see, they are aligned like this. And now you can use this feature position space evenly vertically, and it will be working. Now on to the third thing you probably didn't know about Canva. All right, so for this one, I'm going to go back to my Canva homepage right here and open another presentation. Okay, so just want to create another presentation. Okay, I'm going to use this template right here and inserting a couple of pages like this, perfect. And I want to go back to the presentation I already used just a few minutes ago. So go to all my design, find this presentation right here. So what I want to show you is that I want to bring some of the elements from this design. Like I like these three icons right here. I would love to have this in my other presentation. Okay. I want to have that in this presentation right here. Uh, let's say I want to switch these icons by the other ones I have on the other page. I don't see why you would do that because they don't match the color and the visual identity, but let's assume they do. All right, so you have these icons right here. One thing you can do, you can select the icons and let's align them. Let's use what we have just learned. Okay, now they are aligned. Okay, you select them all and then you will click, right click, and you will click copy and then you can go to your second um, to your second presentation right here. Click on the page and paste and Canva will allow you to copy paste elements, visuals, photos or anything else really from one document to the other. So this is pretty cool. And once I am here, I can uh, simply change the colors for some of the colors I see here on this page. So they look more on brand. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is that you can really copy paste stuff uh, from one presentation presentation to the other. Sorry. So for example, if you want to bring 
um, a photo from this presentation right here. For example, this guy looks kind of cool. I want to copy him, come back here and paste him on my homepage. There we go. Now we have our piece guy here on the other presentation. So this is a cool trick, guys. You can do this and you know how you can really take full uh, advantage of this feature, the copy paste feature by going back to your template library. So if you go to the Canva homepage to your templates, let's say you search for um, presentation. OK, presentation. OK, presentation. So here now you are all of a sudden in this category of all your presentations. Let me click here and you are kind of looking for some ideas and you're just browsing. So you see this one looks interesting. You can quickly go through the different slides. Yes, I like this one with the phone in it. So I'm going to use this template. And now you have access to all the pages of this one presentation. So there's a couple of things I like. I like this effect right here. This thing right here, I will copy this. I will come back to my presentation. Just simply right click, paste, and then there it is. What I can do is that I can give it less transparency or more transparency and push it back. So push to the back. Oops, not so much to the back, but um, at least behind my my icons right here, or I can put it here or I can make it really big and then give it more transparency so that I have something more subtle uh, in this slide. But what I wanted to show you is that you can really go find inf inspiration in your templates and bring anything, you know, like the, the Canva designers have been working on these templates. Uh, they are like professional designers, so you can really grab any idea. So for example, I like this phone I'll just grab it and bring it to one of the pages of my presentation here. So if I don't have the proper page, I can add another page. I would just paste and boom, you have your uh, your phone right here. You can switch the photo inside of it for anything you like and you're good to go. So that's the third thing I wanted to show you that you probably didn't know about Canva is that you can copy paste any image, any elements from a template from a previous design and bring it to your design. Simple, copy paste, super easy. And guys, we are halfway through this tutorial and I wanted to take a second to remind you that you can find a ton of tutorials on this channel. So it's not only me, I'm doing this with Diana. She has also a bunch of good tutorials. She likes to create stuff about video and animation and you can watch one of her videos by clicking on the banner right here. That is if you want to learn the latest techniques about how to use video in Canva, which I strongly recommend you do. Don't forget to subscribe as well because we have videos like this every week. All right, moving on to tip number four of the things you probably didn't know about Canva. And that is this one is a pro feature. So all of the tips and tricks that I showed you up to now were free. Uh, so that means you could do it with the free version of Canva. But this one is for pro users. And this one is a very cool one. Let's say you uh, you've made some mistake, you've deleted something and then you didn't realize you've deleted that slide or you changed something in your design and you don't know how to get back to it. Right. You kind of you screwed up and you kind of stuck like, oh, no, I have to do it all over again. Well, the good news is that there is this option right now. Uh, if you go to file and if you uh, scroll down a bit to this part of the, the menu that says version history, OK, you see it's still in beta. Canva is still testing this feature, but it's super interesting. That's kind of a time capsule. So it allows you to go back in time. And again, this is a pro feature. So that's only available for people who are subscribed to Canva Pro. All right. So you can go back to just now, which doesn't really make sense. You can go back to a auto save that happened nine minutes ago or another one that happened 18 minutes ago. So I'm just going to click on the one nine minutes ago. And, uh, and so Canva will give you a preview of how was your document back at this stage. So you see it when I was explaining the first trick about uh, spacing evenly uh, your, your different elements. So you can restore to this version of your document. And so Canva will just restore. You see it says successfully restored. So now you are back like you travel back in time 
to go back to this specific point. So that kind of reminds me the windows, you know, like um, um, kind of like when you saved, when you restore your computer to a certain point in time. I did that a bunch of time when I was using windows and yeah, saved my life a couple of times. So you can now do this with Canva if you have a pro subscription. And by all means, if you haven't tried Canva Pro so far, I strongly recommend that you at least check it out, you know, no, I'm not saying you should buy it, you should subscribe, but you should check it out because it, it offers a ton of other benefits. If you're serious about graphic design, if you're serious about taking your, your skills to the next level, it has some awesome features like the background remover. And we have a video explaining how to use background remover. You can click on the banner here to check it out. And you can also check the links in the description below to find a 30 day free trial for Canva Pro. So you can try the Pro features for 30 days. So you'd find that in the description below. All right, now moving on to the fifth thing you probably didn't know about Canva that will help you become a better designer. So you can do this with the free version of Canva. You don't need a Pro account to do it. And that is the ability to rotate photos even if they are inserted into frames. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let me create another page here in my document insert a frame. So for that, I'm going to go to the elements, find a frame. Let's say this phone right here. Okay. I have my phone and let's insert another one. I'm just going to do a duplicate of this and I'm going to rotate because sometimes, you know, sometimes you use your phone in vertical mode. Sometimes you use it in um, landscape mode like this one. Okay. I'm going to center this and I want to insert videos inside each of these phones. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go to my video tab, just um, going to select a video. Let's use this mountain right here. Okay. So put the video in my phone. I play it and it's nice. I have uh, the movement here. I have the clouds passing, but what if I want the video to be in my horizontal phone. You see, you drag it to the phone, but it's not becoming uh, horizontal. Like Canva doesn't adapt this uh, photo or this video in this instance to the orientation of my frame. So for that, I'm going to delete it. And there is a work around it. The work around this, and that's the thing you didn't know that I'm going to show you right now. And the trick is that you are going to rotate that video before you insert it into your frame. So I'm going to rotate 90 degrees in this direction. Now I'm going to drag this to my phone and now look at this. I'm going to play it. It plays uh, in the right orientation. So that is indeed a neat little trick. Uh, I mean, I it took me forever to discover this one. So I just wanted to share it with you. And sharing is what we do on this channel. We really love sharing our passion for Canva with you guys. And we have a ton of videos. So you can check out one of these videos right here showing up on your screen right now. Or you can also decide, okay, this is cool. I'm going to support these guys and I'm going to subscribe to their channel. So if you want to do so, use the round button that you see on screen as well. And that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next video.